this movie came to be, uh, and then we can watch the movie. And for those of you who might want to stay around afterwards, uh, I, I'll be uh, I'll tell you what is real and what was Hollywood, <laughs> and also ask answer any questions that you might have. Um, now, uh, this movie is uh, is an outgrowth of the fact that back in 2010. Sully sold the video rights to his life story to a, a production company uh, called Flashlight Films. And they've been trying to market it for five or six years, you know, whether it's just a movie or even something like on the History Channel and uh, weren't getting much luck uh, until last year when uh, Clint Eastwood happened to be looking for his next movie, uh, next movie project to work on and saw the, the script liked it and you know then ever since then that's uh, turned into this movie that you're going to see today um, but I came to understand why it is that when you watch a movie you see all these production companies one after another after another you know in this case there's the one that owns the rights to the video but they don't have the capability of making the movie so another production company makes the movie they have to sign uh, a distributor which is Warner Brothers and then they have to find somebody to fund the whole thing so there's a lot that has to go into making a movie before it finally happens and gets on the screen now uh, as I said uh, you know Sully got uh, paid for his life story nobody else in the movie including me is getting a penny so if you don't like the movie don't, don't talk to me about it <laughs> uh, and actually it's kind of interesting they have to um, uh, um, they, you know, Sully's remembrances are fair game because, uh, you know, he's in kind of contracted by this uh, Flashlight Films. Things that he knows because I told him are uh, okay. Um, but um, the actors that play the actual people, and everybody that you see in this movie is an actual person, you know, and they're, they were what they're represented to be in the movie. But the actors, uh, are actually not allowed to even contact the people that they're playing because they might find something, find something out in the conversation that might get into the movie that was unique, you know, information that Sully didn't know. And therefore, then they could sue the production company um, for using their likeness. But barring that, um, there is no protection for your own, you know, for like my name or myself you know, as far as uh, uh, making this movie, which I was kind of surprised at. You would think there would be, but there really isn't. You have no recourse. But uh, anyways, everybody in this movie is a real person. And two people in the movie are actually playing themselves. So I'd like you to watch for this. Um, at the end of the movie, there's some simulations, and there's very a very attractive-looking woman pilot who's flying the airplane. She's actually a standards captain for... Uh, American Airlines, and at the time that uh, this was uh, in our incident, she was the company's representative on the NTSB investigation committee. She's playing herself, and also there's a ferry boat captain named Vince Lombardi. <laughs> and uh, you know, when I first met him, I, I didn't even know he existed. I was, I think, it was I was being interviewed by Charlie Gibson. And there was a group of us, and, and the producer comes and introduced me to Vince Lombardi. He says, this is Vince Lombardi. And I looked at him, I said, are you related to Vince Lombardi? <laughs> and of course, he looks at me like an idiot, and he says, I, I am Vince Lombardi. <laughs> um, but he's a, he, we watch for him. He's a ferry boat captain, and he plays himself. So um, as I said, Let's start the movie, and we'll discuss, uh, you know, what's real and what's Hollywood after it's over. Thank you.